viewers are interested to know, Mr. Funny's view. Do you know, I haven't actually thought about a mic out of ten, but I think I'm going to give that a... And I'm only going to score it lower because of the fact that I didn't understand it all. So I'm going to score that a seven and a half. But surely if you use that, ten. if you use that standard, you'd be scoring more than everything. Films quite... One out of ten. <laughs> no, 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 I wouldn't. No, I'm going to score it a seven and a half out of ten. But if I understood everything that was going on, I think I'd probably give it nearer a nine. So uh, it loses I'm... marks on the fact that that I didn't fully understand what was going on all the time. To be honest, viewers, I wouldn't quite give it. I mean, I did understand most of it, and but same as Andy. If I watch a James Bond film, I kind of just accept that at certain points he's going to go from one side of the world to the other and sort of pick up a clue, almost like a throwaway line, and you're going to think, what the hell is going on here? And that happened mm. in that film. All of a sudden he was in someone's apartment. You think, well, where did that come from? And he yeah. was fighting some guy and then he met the, the woman and stuff. And, yep. and there are some films like, I don't know, Ellie Confidential or Memento, where you really do want to understand what's going on. But call me stupid. Call Andy stupid. No, call you stupid. But <laughs> stupid. <laughs> no, don't call me. No, I didn't mean literally. I've kind of come to the conclusion with Bond films that it's just about just enjoy the spectacle, enjoy the action, and if you kind of understand the story, then all the better for it. Mm. Yeah. Maybe we're just presenting ourselves as uh, idiots here, Andy. But but. I liked the fact that M said a swear word. Did she? And again, it made her look human. Yeah, because you don't expect her to say that. She said, I don't give a shit. It was a little bit like the uh, Born Identity films. <laughs> yeah, uh, basically, um, we were both James confused. Bond, he um, went after the baddies and he got them. Before you went to see the film, now, Quantum of Solace is one of the few James Bond films which is a, a sort of a true sequel to the previous film, like Casino Royale. Yeah. Did you have any reservations about that? I mean, what's your recollection of the, the previous film? Yes, I couldn't... Could you even remember seeing it? I couldn't remember what happened in the first film, so I was a little bit stuck there when I... Still, you gave me a brief synopsis of what happened. Basically, we were able to um, gather the plot and enjoy the film. Uh, no, I didn't understand it all, um, you know, because sometimes they were here and I thought... How didn't did, you how say happened? that you were looking forward to, you know, like a, if you watch a new episode, you, your specific example was like, if you watch an episode of Smallville, at the very beginning it says, previously on Smallville, and you were looking forward to a previously on Bond. Yeah, I was hoping for that because I couldn't remember anything. <laughs> Yeah, and they didn't do that, did they? They <laughs> no. just went straight into it. And the it. film carried on like an hour later than yeah. the first film. And it wasn't like your average Bond film. On your average Bond film, you know, you, the Bond walks on and then he turns and fires. He did and that. then you get the red, you know, the blood, the blood come down um, and then the music comes in, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, that happens at the end. What a turn up for the book. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That didn't happen at the start, but I didn't miss it. It was no. only at the end when I saw it, and I thought, hang on a minute, <laughs> this didn't happen at the start. Right, you ready? Do you have your wits about you? Yep. Yep. Can't ask for more than that. There we go. There well, we go. You haven't got, you've got your notes to the left. Yes. That's, that's yes. the opposite of your wits about you. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to forget them. Good evening, viewers. I'm 21st Century Cat. And I'm Mr. Funny. Cheers. And you're watching Cat and Funny Review. The fact that M said a swear word. Did she? And again, it made her look human. Yeah, because you don't expect her to say that. She said, I don't give a shit.